awesome little hideout here right off the side of the trail. going on everybody welcome back to another episode of whatever wednesday here on lone wolf 902 and today we are going for a little bit of a trail ride it is scorching hot out right now it just got changed and just got finished filming last wednesday's video so i am ready to hit the trail just about ready just about ready i've got a change of shoes which i've got to get changed out of right now i'm parked at a parking lot right now and I'm right next to an 18 wheeler trailer. It looks like this is where they kind of park their trailers to like stage them. I'm not gonna leave the van here just in case I get called on because it is kind of like a trailer yard. So I'm actually gonna move probably like hundred yards over and park the truck or the van there and basically get access to the trail system from there. I've never been here before. So this is all new to me, but basically we're gonna be taking that bad boy out on the trail. It is scorching hot. Boomer's not with me today. It's way too hot for him. He is safe with a friend. So I got my, got my gloves. I am gonna be carrying a small backpack, which I'm gonna be putting drinks inside of because it is ridiculously hot and I do not wanna go out there um, without anything. Also, I'm gonna grab a snack out of the van as well. Once I get parked over in the parking lot, I'll be able to get the bike out, get the wheel on and all that stuff. Um, get some of the handlebar mounts for the camera. I gotta get that mounted on there as well. And uh, yeah, we'll basically be ready to go explore some of these trails out here. I am just outside of Halifax, Nova Scotia. So a very interesting location. These trails are probably gonna be pretty gnarly. I was checking out other trails last night and today I found this on the map. I said, why not go check it out? So let's get these shoes on, move the van, get the bike and hit the trail. It is hot out, man. All right, so shoes are on, tied nice and tight. Um, I've got the refrigerator full of drinks. I'm gonna be grabbing probably two. I'll probably bring two drinks with me. Um, yeah, and that should basically do it. Not gonna be going ter. I mean, I say I'm not gonna be going terribly far, but realistically, <laughs> who knows? I might bike really far. These trails are about 10, 15 kilometers in length. It's a huge forest, a huge playground. I might have fun and just go wild today. I don't know, we'll see. I'll throw a snack and a couple drinks in the bag. And that way I won't have heat exhaustion or anything like that out here by myself. And then make it back to the van and give you guys my verdict on these trails. I got the bike pretty much dialed in right now. This is not the first trip that I've gone out on it with but um, it is the first video that I'm filming with it. There is a story with this bike. I wanna say thank you to the individual who actually gifted me this bike. Um, there's a more in-depth story on that. I'm not gonna to touch on that today. I will actually be making a huge video explaining a lot of the unanswered questions that have been going on as things are kind of getting to that stage where I can actually share it with you guys. Um, all I can say is um, I'm in a much more positive and much more safer space. space. Uh, now in life and a lot happier. I'll leave it at that. So we got to park the van. The entrance to the trail system is around the lumber yard, I believe. I'm gonna look at the map real quick and just verify that, but I am gonna park up near the doors so there's no like anyone bumping around the van or whatever. So I'm gonna park, that's something that I actually like doing is park right near the entrance of an establishment where there's security cameras. That way if anything does happen to your vehicle, or anything like that, it's on security camera. And let's face it, things happen every now and then. And um, I like having things on camera. So we're right at the front door of this hardware store. I'm gonna grab the drinks, throw them in the bag, get the bike out, get that set up. We're gonna hit the trail.
All right, looking for a way around this fenced area. There's a number of ways to get into this trail system from what I can see on the map, but those maps are since dated, so it's a little difficult figuring out which way is still accessible and which way is not. So, I'm going to ride around this lumber yard, hopefully to get on the outside of the fence, which I don't know is accessible through here or not. Hmm. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to go the other way. We'll go around the back of the store, the opposite direction. And I think we'll be able to get in from there. This is the problem with spitballing in areas we've never been before. Looks like there's a footpath going through these bushes. And in fact, there is. All right, let's walk up through this. All right, walking up through this path right now. It's massively overgrown. Uh, the immediate issue that I see is there's actual physical construction happening here on a monumental scale that is not on the map where I found the trail map. So, looks like we're gonna have to push all the way through here uh, to gain access to this trail system. This pathway keeps going, so uh, we'll follow this down a little ways anyways. <laughs> Hopefully this is not poison ivy because it's gonna make for a bad day. but it is very bushy in here. I could probably ride some of this actually. I could jump out here into this gravel area. Looks like there's active construction. So I probably already passed the sign where it says do not enter. So just stay in the woods, get up here a little ways and hopefully get on the trail. Oh man, 
She getting a little gnarly in here. Oh, bud. Whew. Stuck on a root. All right. All right, so this trail, you guys can notice, is extremely, oh, okay, here we go. All right, now, just came out on some bedrock. Okay. Wow, this is like, uh, this is like Peggy's Cove. Losing the trail. It is so single track out here and overgrown. Wow. Okay, we got to sign up ahead. Let's check this out. This is awesome. I love this. Love fat biking. It's so hot out. All right, we got a sign here. Let's stop. And Blue Mountain, Birch Cove Lakes Wilderness Area. Trails in this area are not yet managed. No off highway vehicles allowed. Uh, do to do. You may use this area for hunting, sport fishing, camping, wilderness recreation, and community stewardship. Awesome. This is pretty sweet. These trails are so nice, it just branches off. So here's the main trail right behind me that comes out in the lumber yard, or the lumber yard. I'm probably gonna follow that out as I go back because I wanna know where that is. Not that the way I came in is bad, it's just a little gnarly. So, no map, just gonna wing it today. Let's get going. All right, so here's a look at the sign. You guys wanna pause and read that. We've got one trail branching off there. We've got another one there. We've got another one there. We've got the main trail. We've got the lumber yard over there. This trail that I came in on and what looks to be another trail here leading to some bedrock. I am right here on this bedrock area, which is pretty sweet. Get a good look at Big Red. She's looking sexy. Yeah. And what I've got for a handlebar mount, very simple, just a clamp and then a tripod mount there. All items found on Amazon. And yeah, let's get it. Let's get, uh, I'm gonna go down this trail. I believe these two here verge into one behind that tree. So we're gonna go down that, head out in the area. And if you read the sign, Birch Cove Lakes. So that means there's lakes out here. Let's go find them. Oh wow, looks like uh, trail maintenance here, cleaning up a bunch of garbage. It's pretty awesome. We got the bags laid there close for pickup. Now this is totally awesome. I'm loving this landscape. Very cool mix. Narrow. Oh, rocks everywhere. <laughs> All right, so we're in like a little bit of a boggy section here. They put stone down so hikers can walk through. It's pretty awesome. You guys are probably getting a little seasick right now from all the bumps up and down. <sighs> awesome though, loving it. The huge bonus with the fat bike is PSI. Let's go this way. You can air down your tires and act like a snowshoe and really help absorb all those bumps. Ooh, super overgrown back here, wow. Awesome. Oh. Uh oh, I got a tree down. Oh, oh, oh yeah, definitely a tree down. All right. <laughs> Got a tree down on the trail here, guys. Super narrow. I should have went the other way because this trail actually just loops right back into the other trail. Whew. That's a rough section. All right. On the bike, heading down this gnarly stuff. Wow. You can barely even hike through here. Holy. Oh, man. I don't know if I'm going to be able to ride this trail. You guys have a look at this. I wish I brought a helmet and a helmet cam. It's just too hot to put my brain in a brain bucket today. Way too hot. 
Super soft Torino here, but check this out what I'm looking at right now, ridiculous. Okay, so backing off a little bit to show you guys where the bike is. Coming through here, <laughs> this is the trail. So we've got to come down through here, hard 90, down through here. <sighs> another tree down. Okay, looks like there's another tree down and then a very large step down, all the way down. This trail's probably not suited for bikes. Um, should mention, I do a lot of downhill mountain biking, motocross, I rode BMX for many years. I am by all means no newbie to two wheels. And uh, yeah, that's just ridiculous. To enjoy anyways, to actually pedal through, because you get gnarly stuff like this. I mean, that's the size of my foot, the tire's pushing through, there's just no room. So I think I'm gonna back off this trail, go back up a little ways and find a different route. All right, let's push our way back up. <laughs> Could have swore just a minute ago, I said, wow, I love this terrain out on the bedrock. That quickly disappeared, I tell ya. There's a lot of alternate trails, so I am probably gonna pull my phone up and just, uh, you know what? No, that's cheating. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just going to, I rode through all this, by the way, I should mention that. The stuff I'm plowing and pushing my way through right now, I just rode through this. So I'm gonna go back up here to the bedrock. I should mention I'm watching out for bears also. Oh. I'm gonna go back up to the bedrock area and have a look at where these trails branch off. I'm not gonna use my phone because I think that's cheating and that kind of ruins the adventure. <laughs> it's so thick here, I can't even see my pedal through the trees. Okay, come on. And we're off. All right. Oh wait, there's another trail right there. That looks like a trail that uh, kind of leads into what I just went through actually. Super gnarly. Where's this trail go? Oh, okay. Alternate path, I guess. There's so many like little janky footpaths. It's really hard to get through here. Oh man, everything's grabbing my pedals. Super difficult to pedal. All right, I got a little bit of a step up here. Can I make it? Oh yeah. That's the beauty with these bikes, super easy gear. Monsters, man. As long as you got the legs to push those pedals, these bikes will go <laughs> right into a dead end trail, unfortunately. All right, let's turn around again. Whew. So this is the thing with finding trails around a city is sometimes they're full of these little footpaths that just kind of exploratory paths that go everywhere. But then, realistically, they go nowhere. So, I do know I took a left there. <sighs> All right, we are on the pedal. <laughs> it's like a roller coaster. I should mention, I'm on my easiest gear right now. And I'm like barely even pedaling. And the thing's just walking through all this. This is awesome. All right. Coming up to this bedrock area again. Okay. This is what I was hoping to be riding today. Stuff like this. So that's not a trail, so we'll go this way. I mean, some gnarly stuff is obviously needed, but that's just impassable right now. Maybe in the fall, but right now, the trail is just so overgrown, you can't even see it. Okay. Back out on this little bedrock strip. Whew. Man, instantly hot out here, holy. <laughs> Back to the trailhead. 
All right, you know what? I think, I think what I'm gonna do, okay, there's that garbage pile again. I'm gonna go back out to that construction area and I'm gonna look and see where the other trailhead is because obviously there's another trailhead. It's just buried in all that construction, that newly built stuff. So let's burn down here. Like I said, I'm gonna take the alternate route back to the lumber yard. That's this route right here. Very steep downhill. Probably not picking up on camera how steep that is, but I am way off the back of the seat. <laughs> Almost ate that. Yeah, definitely not biking down that. All right, I gotta jump off. This is getting gnarly. It's not the rocks and it's not the hill, it's the trees, the low trees. They're so low that my head is like, gonna get lobbed off by one of these limbs. <sighs> gotta make sure, gotta make sure I don't lose a microphone either. I gotta clip on my shirt right now. And, uh, well, it's very expensive. So, okay, literally right out the back of the lumber yard. All right, huge step down here. All right, we'll creep back up here and regroup our, uh, our thoughts. Because that was pure ridiculousness. But at least this will show me where the hiking trails entrance is. Oh, I'm actually in the lumber yard where I didn't want to be. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back to the van and I am gonna cheat. I'm gonna look at the map. I'm gonna figure this out. guys back at the van it is crazy crazy hot out just cracking in this coconut water oh wow <laughs> all right so after reviewing the map and looking at it really closely gaining access to those trails has to be done through that access that i was just at the problem is right now the trail system is so overgrown due to it being summer season, it makes it really difficult to get in there and explore. Now, if I've already been there before, I can navigate that no problem, but uh, I have not been there, so I don't know where not to go and where to go. So I'm going to type in a new location that I know is absolutely epic. And we are going to go there instead. So this is a well-known mountain bike trail area. Many of you may know the name of it as Macintosh um, Trail System, Macintosh Run. Problem is there's two. There's one that's a dog park and then there's one that's the actual biking trail. I'm just trying to drop my pin on the actual biking trail. I mean, I know right where it is, but I want to be sure while I'm driving. Bam, and we got it. We are, it says 11 minutes travel time. So not very far. Um, oh, and if you guys did not catch the last episode of Whatever Wednesday, this is the van uh, cell phone holder that I made from a camera mount. It is working extremely well so far really like it i say last episode even though it was about an hour ago in real time that i filmed that it is still working excellent so i am going to head over there ah so sweaty right now gross my shirt's like soaked uh stuck at this crosswalk so many people out here so i'm gonna head over there and i got my gps up here i can watch that hands-free cell phones working really really well the holder and I'll catch up with you guys as soon as we get to the trail system. All right, guys, just got to the trailhead and this place is 
epic. I love this location every time I come here. Just the, the landscape, just everything about this, the trail system. There's a good mix of gnarliness. There's a good mix of like hard rock, hills, steepness, downhill, uphill, winding, bridges, forests, all kinds of good stuff down here. So I'm going to repeat the process, get the bike out of the back, get it all geared up. I'm actually gonna bring the drone this time because I'm almost positive. I have it here somewhere. <laughs> so I'm going to grab that, throw that in my backpack and get on the trail real quick because it is hot, but it's windy. So there's a nice breeze out here in this general location and it is vast open landscape. You guys will see exactly what I'm talking about in just a minute. Fail. <laughs> uh, fail right off the bat. All right. Hello, beautiful. Oh, man. <laughs> I still have my winter Patagonia sweater hanging right up near the doorway along with a whole bunch of winter jackets and really heavy hoodies and the reason for that is because a lot of areas that i've been camping in and traveling to are still cold at nighttime believe it or not so keys i just noticed that i left the fan on inside the van as well so that's drawing power i gotta shut that off but uh yeah like i said i'm gonna grab the drone it is in here i can actually see it right now in the bag fully charged Gonna grab that, get this bike put together, and get on this trail while we got a nice breeze kicking through here. Get some wind flowing, cause it is hot, hot, hot. I need my hat on as well, cause it burnt my head last time. So yeah, we'll get all geared up and get on the trail. Okay, so a little bit of a hiccup here. I have a loose back wheel and it needs attention. I'm hoping I have, okay, good. I do have the right size. I was worried I didn't have the right size socket here because I don't have my entire toolkit with me. Uh, that should fit into there. Uh, yeah, so I don't have a socket set, but I do have the correct bit to fit in there. And then I also have a wrench, which I can use to put on to that and then crank it as if it was a socket or a ratchet. So let's give this a go. Oh yeah, beautiful. Nice and tight. Okay, that takes all the wobble out of the back wheel. I just noticed that when I put the bike down, it's wobbling like crazy. Took me back to my BMX days. All right, that'll do. Okay, a little bit of maintenance there. I have a frame bag for this bike. Um, it has not arrived yet. And in that frame bag is where I'll be housing all my tools and things of that nature. It's just not here yet. So that worked, we're good to go, let's go. Finally on some epic trails. Beautiful out here. So just to give you guys a little bit of clarity of where we're at, this is the trail system. All the way out there, as far as you can see, all bedrock, just like this. It also snakes into the forest. We can go way up there on the hill, get a good look over at the harbor of Halifax, which is exactly what we're gonna try and do. There are, I think like 40 different trails here with like 30 different alternates. 
So there's a lot of options here. Loads and loads of options. This is definitely gonna get a workout today. And I'm also gonna get a workout today. So let's, uh, let's get after these trails. Okay, so the cool thing about this trail system is it is much like a ski resort or ski slope. So everything here is color coordinated. Right now I'm on a green slope. There's black diamond, diamond, different colors so you can navigate your way through here, but it's all bedrock, so it's painted on the ground. So you don't have to follow actual signs. You just look at the ground and follow the green dots or the pink dots or whatever. It's pretty sick. So I'm just gonna follow the green for now. I just came off a pink trail on the green Looks like this goes uphill. We've got a bridge feature coming up here. So yeah, we'll snake our way through here, get up on top of the hill, hopefully have a beautiful view, and then just keep riding this nice breeze because it is super hot out. Definitely easier to ride out here than the last place, I'll say that. All right, guys, just coming up to this alternate route. Pretty sweet. Easier, harder. I mean, we're definitely gonna go the harder, but it does show alternate routes. So you can go this way, and there's another sign up there. It tells you to go that way or that way. This is the harder route, that's the easier route. That's where we came from, way up there. And we are going way up there. So, very nice signage. Very beautiful trails. Let's keep, uh, let's just keep riding, see what comes ahead. I'm out of breath, I can barely talk, but definitely fun.
Uh. All right, guys, coming up to another trail sign, and I am completely out of breath. So we started right there where it says TH. We went purple, we went green, we went orange, we came out of this TH. So what I'm gonna do, <laughs> totally out of breath. <sighs> I'm gonna go back in the orange and we're gonna cut up the green and go up, all the way up on top of this hill. Try and link up with blue, try and get to yellow and hit that lake. That's what I wanna see today. All right, guys, off the bike now. Got the bike leaning up against some rocks. Found this awesome little hideout here right off the side of the trail. Someone built that for some shade, which is definitely needed right now. It is super hot out. So I'm gonna grab the bag, duck in here, and get a drink, because I am way too hot. So when I say too hot, I mean, like, I don't know if you guys could pick that up, but very, very hot like heat exhaustion hot. So I'm going to chill out here for a minute, oh, play it safe, grab the bag, duck in here. Oh, oh, wow. It is crazy noticeably cooler in here. All right, let's get a drink. Oh, get these gloves off. Whew, what a neat little shelter. My mouth is super dry right now. <laughs> I have pine needles and spruce boughs all over this can. <sighs> oh yeah. <laughs> it's somewhat cold from being in the fridge, but after being on my backpack after that, <sighs> telling you guys, <laughs> it is hot out today. I'm drenched, totally drenched. So I got some peach passion fruit, carbonated water. I think that's a sugar-free, non-artificial sweeteners, no artificial sweeteners. So I'm gonna enjoy this and uh, play it by ear. I don't know. It's a long ways up there and it is very, very exposed out here and extremely hot with the sun. I know I'm probably gonna be burnt when I go home so yeah, I'm gonna play it by ear here, guys. My legs are already burning up. It's very, very, very hot. So, oh man. Super happy I found the shelter though. Making all the difference right now. Very dry out here. Whew. Bike's a champ though. The bike is taking this like nothing really, really well. It's challenging to film this with the action camera on the handlebars. I didn't bring a helmet today because it's way too hot and uh, flying the drone at the same time. Very difficult, because I have to take the joysticks off of the drone when I put the remote in my backpack, so the joysticks aren't being pressed and it's flying by itself. 
Um, so I have to take a joystick off, put the remote in my backpack and then bike. So it's a long process every time I set it up. Very, very hot. Holy. I can feel my head like pounding and I'm seeing spots. And no, I did not eat anything today. So yeah, I'll uh, check all the boxes there for stupidity, but epic having a great time. I don't feel bad. So honestly, when I go out and not eat trips like this, the reason why I don't eat is because I just don't have time. Honestly, I just get up and I go. Uh, but when I do get back to wherever I'm going for the night, I can gorge on whatever I want and not feel an ounce guilty about what I'm eating. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna be doing that later tonight. Probably a bacon cheeseburger, probably two of them. Oh. But right now, enjoy the songbirds out here, the sun, a little bit of shade somewhat cold drink and we'll get back on the bike and rip it downhill all right guys just finishing up with break and <laughs> getting back on this trail it is crazy hot like massively burning up hot uncomfortable definitely not going to make it to the lake today oh that carbonated water is not sitting well either uh, the lake is actually quite a ways away. I just looked at the map and uh, we got to go down a few trails all uphill and I'm just not feeling it right now. So I'm going to play it smart because I am lightheaded right now. Very, very hot and going to make my way back down the hill to the van. There's still a lot of technical riding to get down there. So it's not like I'm right next to the van. I've got a lot of trails to get through to even get near the van. So. Let's make our way back. <laughs> Two seconds in a tree. Oh. All right, technical stuff to get through. A lot of rock climbs before I get to that downhill section. Pretty flat right here actually though, so coming up on this very steep downhill section. It's kind of cool. It snakes back and forth like switchbacks. Give you guys a view of what I'm looking at up here before I head down because I'm not going to have time to reposition the camera once I get moving.
Okay, back in the van. Physically destroyed. Absolutely done for the day. <sighs> that was two and a half hours of riding in that hot sun. And it is definitely time to cool off. So get my phone plugged in here, charge this up. Got a little bit of my cold drink left from earlier. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed another Whatever Wednesday episode. Let me know what you guys think. Till then, I'm out of here. I gotta go relax either at the ocean or in a really cool shady place. So peace out guys. I'll catch you in the next episode.